Let's see if you know enough practical math to solve this simple math problem. All right, so here is the question. Which is a better buy? Three protein bars for $1.19 or four protein bars for $1.50? Now, feel free to use a calculator, but if you think you know the answer, put that into the comment section. But the main idea of this uh, video is for you to justify your conclusions, right? So, of course, one of these is right, but uh, try to explain how you can defend your answer. All right, so I'm going to cover all of this in just one second. But before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching math for decades. And if you need help in math, come on over to my site, tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so one more time, we have... Uh, basically what you would see at the store, right? So in other words, there's all kinds of deals going on. So which is a better buy? We can get three protein bars for $1.19, or if we spend $1.50, we can get four. So let's take a look at this problem visually. All right, so over here, we can get three protein bars for $1.19, or we can get four protein bars for $1.50. All right, so which is the better deal? Well, it's better to spend $1.50, spend a little bit more and get these four uh, protein bars than just spending $1.19 and ending up with three. All right, so this is the better bargain. And if you got this right, I definitely have to give you a nice little happy face and the A+. Plus. That is fantastic. But uh, I would suspect most of you out there got this right. But can you defend your conclusions all right so what's going on here how are we determining that this is the better bargain okay so what we need to do is think about the individual cost of one protein bar all right so we have two offers here but we need to think about the individual cost of these protein bars right and over here for dollar 19 or these three uh, protein bars for dollar 19 the cost of these protein bars under this bargain is going to be different than uh, the cost of individual or unit cost uh, over here under the dollar fifty or dollar fifty, excuse me, uh, for protein bars for dollar fifty. All right, so basically what we need to do is calculate the unit cost. So we're talking about simple math here. So over here, if we can get three protein bars for dollar nineteen. What do we need to do to determine the unit cost, right? So we're talking about division. So it's going to be basically the same. We're going to take this $1.19 and divide it by 3, and that will give us the unit cost, i.e., how much do each of these protein bars cost, all right, individually. And then, of course, we'll do the same thing here. We'll take this $1.50 and divide it by 4, and we'll get the unit cost, uh, i.e., the per bar cost over here under this offer. And then now we can make or once we get that information, we can make a good comparison on which is the better bargain. All right, so let's go ahead and do that right now. So $1.19 divided by 3 is going to be what? Well, that's going to be 0.396. Now, here I have cents, all right? But actually, I'm going to correct this. This is actually dollars, right? But 0.396 uh, of a dollar is 39.6 cents. All right, so I'm kind of correcting this in real time here. So let me go ahead and change this over here. So a dollar 50 divided by four is 0.375 of a dollar, right? So we're not doing anything with the units of measure. We're still, we're still talking about dollars, but this is the same thing as 37.5 cents. Now, whether you are uh, working in cents or dollars, you can still see that the unit cost over here is 0.375 of a dollar or 37.5 cents. So which is the uh, cheaper protein bar to get, right? So in other words, if this protein bar right here costs 0.375 of a dollar or 37.5 cents, right? If I say, hey, you want to buy this protein bar for 37 0.5 cents, or do you want to spend 39.6 cents to get the same protein bar? In other words, over here, you're spending more money, all right? So this is the more expensive offer. So the better deal is this right here, the four protein bars for $1.50.
Okay, so no big deal if you forgot how to solve a problem like this, but we are talking about everyday practical math here. Now, a lot of you have been away from math for a long time, or maybe you're not that confident in your current math skills. Well, that's something that you definitely can improve. A few uh, suggestions here. One, I have a ton of basic math videos on my YouTube channel. And of course, you always want to start with uh, basic math first before you get into things like algebra. So I'm going to uh, suggest a specific math course. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. And that is my Math Foundations course, right? So Math Foundations or my Math Skills Rebuilder course, right? So in those courses, I start with the very, very basics of arithmetic and basic math, everything that we're talking about here, and then I build your skills up. And if you're interested in taking algebra, you would want to take my Math Skills Rebuilder course if you want to go that far. But if you want a strong review in basic arithmetic, things like percent, decimals, fractions, positive and negative numbers, uh, things like that, well, then check out my Math Foundations course. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.